This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen? Amen. So since God has given us the additional days in our lives, so it, we should give praises to Him. We should give our best to our God. If you want to dance, we'll dance for the Lord. Want to sing, clap our hands, or jump for the Lord, do it for the glory of God. Amen? Amen. So I request everyone to please stand. And we will greet our brothers and sisters in Christ.
Thank you. 
in his words that two or three gathered in his name, there he is in our midst. So, do you believe that God is in this midst? Amen. Amen. So, I hope we have one mind and one spirit to serve the Lord our God and to worship Him. So, now, uh, I want to read this scripture in 2 Timothy. 1, 7 to 10, it says here, For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline. So do not be ashamed to testify about our Lord, or ashamed of me, his prisoner. But join me with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God. 9, who has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because anything we have done, but because of His own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to life through the Gospel. So, I hope through this word you are encouraged that our only reason for serving the Lord and to worship Him is that because that Christ died for us and has given himself for us to be saved and to have that fellowship with him. So um, take all your worries to him. Live everything to him. And let us focus only in Jesus Christ to worship him and adore him today. So let us welcome if we have first timers. So let us welcome our brother. Can we know? So, brother, can you stand in here too, so that we will, we want to welcome you and uh, let us sing a song. So, what is your name? Sir, Lassie. 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 So let us welcome him in the name of our Father, Lord Jesus Christ. You are welcome in this church. And um, everyone, let us sing, I'm glad you are here. So let us welcome our brother. Faithfulness and excellence. 
So our mission is to preach the word and that all the people of this world will, will know about Jesus Christ. And we want, this church wants to introduce our relationship with Christ regardless of your, of your religious affiliation. So everyone is welcome in this church as long as um, you, you are human. <laughs> so, <laughs> and the uh, announcements. Uh, church service every Sunday at 3 p.m. And uh, prayer meeting Friday at 6.30 p.m. So you, if you want to execute or to work out what you have believed, so we need to uh, have fellowship through the Sunday service and prayer meeting. And we have also Bible studies if you want to be connected and to grow in the knowledge of our living God. So we have leaders, uh, healer of yours truly. So we have Bible study during Wednesday at 7 p.m. at Miss All's Place. And in Kentucky, Charlotten Lund, every Wednesday also at 7.30 p.m. at Angela's Place in Charlotten Lund. In Ballysbeck, Saturday at 4 p.m. Uh, Ate May Constantino is not here now, so you can contact her. And in Verdoa, Men's Ministry, Kuya um, Ethan, our brother Joseph. So also we have open Bible study after the church, but uh, today we, will, we won't have since uh, Bia Sister Bianca is not here. But every Sunday we will have an open Bible study. Those who have not uh, have a group for Bible studies, you can join every after the worship service. So, the, there will be encounter uh, day to be announced. So, there is no specific date yet, but we are um, expecting to have an encounter uh, activity. And the, there will be also a and summit in July 2016 at Italy. So final date will be announced also soon. And uh, we also have some announcements. So on April 15th, there will be a festival, festival of life. So night of praise and worship and prayers for Sweden. So it is a free entrance, free entry. So if you have time and if you want to to join with this um, praise and worship and prayer for Sweden, you you are free and uh, you can uh, ask for more information, Tita Sali. And next, we are expecting also for prayer for the nation on May sixth. Uh, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. So we will have no prayer meeting, but we will join the prayer for the nation. So it is an international open air prayer event at Luther, Luther, Copenhagen. So, so walking street. So the, it, it will be held in the walking street, street with gospel and praise and worship music. So you can also contact Sister Sally. And uh, also, School of Leaders, second and fourth week, Saturdays, every Saturday. Every Saturdays of the second and fourth, there will be training, workshop, and seminars. So leaders and workers, you are. It is a compulsory, compulsory. So yesterday we have we had um, we had seminars also tackled and it was successful and victorious uh, through the help of Jesus Christ. And so that's all. And now let us prepare our hearts and minds to use the word of God through our through his servant. Praise God. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. 
Can we give our hands for God? Are we all here? Amen. Amen. So, uh, can we give a smile? Thank you. Can, you. can we give a smile to our brothers and sisters in Christ? How are they? <laughs> are they look fresh? <laughs> Praise God. So, um, it's big thing, amen, that uh, we gathered here once again to have a fellowship and to see each other again and again, continue fellowship with one another and continue to, to hear the very word of God because our faith will be more strong and hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. Man shall not be, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So, therefore, we will not stop reading, we will not stop studying, and we will not stop hearing the very word of the Lord in, in, each, in, in our life. Amen? Are we all here? Amen. Can we give a big clap offering to our God? How's our heart? How's our heart? Our heart is happy. Our heart is still strong, healthy. Amen. So uh, as we continue to, to declare the goodness of our God in our midst, I want to invite everyone to sing this song to refresh our heart once again and to offer it to our God to prepare our hearts as an open vessel to prepare our heart as a, a fertile soil that will receive the very message of God. Amen. Shall we all arise? The song says that my heart will be faithful, Lord. My heart will obey the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name. 
And another thing, in Ephesians, <coughs> another thing is in Ephesians, Mm. Ephesians 2 Amen And uh, is it not there, please? Ephesians 5, 21 to 25, that it says here, submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives and husband, wives submit your submit to your hus to your own husband as the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body. And is himself its savior. Now as the church submits to Christ. So also wives should submit in everything to their husband. Husband, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Amen. So that is the very message in English translation, in English version. And it's very big, amen. That uh, the, first, the first thing that uh, I want to share to each, all of us, to each one of us is the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And the second thing, I think it's on our uh, our point. Amen. God's call for submission to authority. So the Lordship of Jesus Christ, as we read in Philippians 2, Amen, 9 to 11, and God's call for submission to authority in Ephesians 5, 21 to 24. So that is the very message of God in our midst today. Amen. And to declare His supreme authority through the Lordship of our Jesus Christ, it says there in uh, Philippians 2 that God also has highly exalted him. Amen. That's how the Lordship of our Lord Jesus Christ, that our God the Father also highly exalted him. Amen. As his son, the Savior of our life. Amen. Can we read in uh, Second Samuel? Second Samuel twenty-two, two forty-seven. Twenty-two forty-seven. What it says? verse 47 it says there the Lord lives blessed be my rock let God be exalted the rock of my salvation amen so that's how God gave to his only son to be Lord to his people to be God in his uh, in his children amen it says there in 2 Samuel 22, verse 47, The Lord lives. Blessed be my rock. Let God be exalted. 
which is the God of my salvation. Why we, why we have a new life? Why God save us, amen? Why the Lord wants us to have a new relationship in Him, amen? From the time that in the book of Genesis, how, how our forefather, how our foreparents, Adam and Eve, amen, have seen before God. Therefore, God made a way once for all. Amen. In the new in the old testament, how the people gave their offering when they are sin. Let's say one uh, still what they do, they just offer a pure land or without blemish animals, right? No sickness animals. And they give it as an offering for the redemption of their of the sins. And that's how the old way, amen? That's how the Old Testament did for, for the people because that's the only thing how they make themselves pure, pure, purified again, amen? In the eyes of God. But the Lord said, it's not easy because people gonna do it all the time. That they just get unblameless for offering animals or whatever. Amen? So God made a way that He gave His Son from heaven to be a human but by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why He gave and why He let Him to be a human being? Why God let Him to be a human being? Therefore, there is so many there's, there, there's so many that they are saying that Jesus Christ is only human. Jesus Christ is only a prophet. That's how they believe. But for us, we know, we knew what the word of the Lord says. Amen? Why our Father in heaven let His Son to be as human? Any idea? Any revelation in our heart? To save us. Amen. To save us. Another thing, God led His Son to come here on earth like a human, but by the power of the Holy Spirit because He is going to save a human being. He is going to save a people. That people did to see is to believe. When they see how how everything is gonna be done through their yes, eyes, yes. in front of them, and that's the time that they gonna believe. But if God only command on earth without using His only begotten Son, the people can see to suffer, the people can see to be condemned, the people to see to be to sacrifice and to be offered on the cross, to die for His people, for His children. People will never know that that's how big God is in our life. Amen? That's how big the love of God to all of us, why He led His Son. His Son that uh, be died on the cross because he need to save a human being. He need to save a mankind. Therefore, he needs to be crucified on the cross. That people can see how the sacrificial offering once for all to be done. Amen? Therefore, it's, it's very big that the Lordship of our Lord Jesus Christ is not just he is a human. It's not just he is, he is a prophet. Amen? But He is a Savior. Therefore, He is sent here for us. He is a Savior. Therefore, we redeem the salvation once again. We have it. Amen? Through the power of our, of our God. Through His Son, Jesus Christ. 
Therefore, the Lordship of Jesus Christ given him the name that is above every name. In Matthew 3, 17 and 2 Peter 1, 17, it's the same says that, amen, every knee should bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. In Matthew 3, 17, what it says, Matthew 3, 17. And a voice from heaven said, This is my son and my love. Amen. Amen. When Jesus Christ was baptized on the Jordan River through his cousin John the Baptist. Amen. That is how the Lord opened. Amen. That is how the Lord declared that Jesus Christ he is the name that is above all names. He is not just a man or a prophet. Amen. So that's how the, the Lordship of our Lord Jesus Christ be exalted in the lives of his people. And that is how the Lord Jesus, the Lord God Almighty wants us to see that is, that is God. That is my son, whom I love. In him I am well pleased. Is the same our biological father, right? Our biological father or our parents give us education. Amen? Give us what we need. Give us everything, what we ask for. Because our parents knew that one day they're going to be proud because this is my son, this is my daughter, whom I love. In him or in her, I am well pleased. We are representative of our parents. Therefore, Jesus Christ is representative of our God the Father here on earth. Amen? So he is not just anyhow. He is not just a man, and he is not just a prophet. But it's the same, you and me, he is the same, that our parents give life to us. So that our parents will see that this is my daughter and my son, in him I am well pleased. Amen? I believe that no, no parents that want to give their people or want to give their children that is not worth it amen to their life in philippines we always say that the parents is always saying my child go to school because i don't have any treasure to give to you but education is the only treasure i can give amen and that's how it is and it's true because here on earth, everything will be taken away, right? Amen. But what God, our Lord, wants us to have will be never taken away. It's the same our parents. Education will never be taken away in us because we're going to have it the whole of our life. Amen? Amen. So that's the Lord wants us. Therefore, God said that every knee should bow of those in heaven and on earth, amen, and those under the earth. There is three places that God said, only in heaven, here on earth, and under the earth. And there is nothing more. That is the only three places that God mentioned in his word. Those in heaven, those on this earth, and those under the earth. Amen? And every time confess that Jesus Christ is Lord for the glory of our God the Father. So what we have is the same treasure. Even we take it to heaven, 
We take it here on earth or we take it under the earth. That is the only thing. Three things, three places that God wants us. And God is reminding us. Amen? So, the second thing is God's call for submission to authority. Amen? God's call, of course, in First Peter, in First Peter 5, 4, it says there, And when the chief shepherds appear, you will receive the crown of glory that must not fade away. Amen? As I said, that these things will, not, will never be taken away from us. Amen? But when God appears in us, the salvation that we receive, a new life that God wants us to enjoy. That is what the Lord wants to see in us. Amen. That when our sheep, sheep shepherd, who is it? Jesus. Our God. Amen. Jesus. Our Savior. And He wants us to receive the, the crown of glory that will never fade away. Amen. So, we will go through in, in God's call for submission to authority. The first thing is in Romans 13, 1 to 5. It says there that, Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God. And the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Amen. So first is God's call for submission to authority is subject to the governing authorities. And the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Amen? Therefore, it's very important that what we are doing is, is we can see that it is our God who appointed us. God gave us the authority. Can you say to the person next to you, God gave you authority. And you are appointed by God. Amen? God gave us authority. Which is only God that appointed us. Are we all here? Do we believe on that? Amen. Therefore, it says in verse 2, Therefore, whoever resists the authority, resists, resists the ordinance of God. And those who resist will be, bring judgment on themselves. You want to accept or you want to resist? There's only two ways, right? Either you resist or you want to bring judgment for, for ourselves. In verse 3, for rulers are not a terror of good works, but to evil. Do you want to be afraid of the authority? Do you want to do what is good and you will have praise from the same? God said that uh, do not be afraid, amen, of the authority. Are we? No. I don't think so. <laughs> God only says that we need to do good. Amen? That is pleasing to the eyes of God. And no one will, no one will take it away from us. And in verse 4, For he is God's minister to you for good. But if you do evil, be afraid. For he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is God's minister, an avenger to execute wrath on him who practices evil. In verse 5, therefore you must be subject, not only because of wrath, but also for conscience sake. Amen. So that's how God wants us to, to be alert. Amen. 
So what authority what we have for God is is to do good things, amen. So that we will we will never be we will never be uh, taken away, or we will never be distracted by the evil things in this world. Are we all here? Amen. In Romans 13 verse 1, it says, Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. In Hebrews 13 verse 7, Obey those who rule over you, and be submissive, for they watch out for your souls as those who must give account. Let them do so with joy and not with grief. For that would be unprofitable for you. Amen. So that is what God is reminding us. That we need to be submissive in many ways. Amen. We need to, we need to govern and we need to be guided. How, how this authority, amen, of sub submission, we, how we need to do. And in James 4, 7, it says that therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And Matthew 4, 10, then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall not worship the Lord your God, but and him only you shall serve. And that time when the Lord finished his 40 days, of fasting, amen, in the desert. And that's how Satan wants to distract him, amen. That's how Satan wants to, to, to give him that who really God is in his life. But God said that resist the devil and he will flee from you. I want to invite four persons in our midst. I just want to demonstrate something to you. Any volunteers? <laughs> Any volunteer? <laughs> four persons. Amen. About what James 4 7 says. So what what you gonna do is uh, we gonna do this. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. And uh, maybe can I use light daddy? Light. The, the, yeah. The candle. <laughs> Don't be afraid. <laughs> the another one, uh, the another one, I will, I will, I will say that um, you, you will like grab her, and uh, we'll see what she gonna do. If she will, she will, she will allow you to grab her, or she will run away for you, so you can catch her. Okay, so two of you will do that. One will catch. Who who wants to catch? And our light. Yes, <laughs> And two, two of you, one will hold the candle and now we will light it up. And one will do one thing. Bakit siya tatakbo 
We will do the James Ward Okay. Okay. So it's like we will demonstrate how this James Ward Seven is. Let's say there is there is temptation. Amen. And what we gotta do? Everything in the palace, except one thing, his wife. But his wife, King Potiphar, liked Joseph. Amen. Therefore, she really, she really make a plan. She really make a way to catch Joseph. Amen. But what Joseph did, he ran away. He don't let her 
to catch her for this temptation. He don't let that evil plan of King Potiphar, Mrs. Potiphar, will, will happen in his life. Amen? It's the same thing in our life. Our God has a big plan. If we allow the destruction, if we allow the temptation in our life, if we don't submit, amen, to the authority that God given unto us, that we can resist the devil, so that the devil will flee from us. Even Jesus, amen, when he's been tempted, he said, get away from me, Satan. And that's how as well, what, you know, that's how as well we can see ourselves, that really God wants us to use the authority, that we submit to our God. What He really desires for us is a better way, a good way. Amen? Because God will reward us for what we have done. We are not saved because of the good things that we have done, as was said in 1 Timothy. But we are saved through the grace and through the mercy of God. Amen? So that is what God wants to see in our life. There's always a chance. There's always ways, amen, to do so that we will use our authority to the longing of this world. Because the ruler of this world wants to kill and to destroy. He wants to kill our fire to know God. Amen. He wants to, to, to kill our joy in going to church. He wants to kill our joy to serve God. And that's how the ruler of this earth. Therefore, God is always reminding us. Amen. Because we are in the hands of God. Kill and destroy. Amen. He wants to destroy us. Because from the very beginning, the ruler of this earth, he knew that God has a big and special plan for each one's life. Are we going to allow him to destroy? Are we going to allow him to kill that? Or to, to be taken that in our life? Are we? We don't want amen. Therefore, there is always a way. And we need only to see and we need only to submit what God wants us to do. And we, He wants us to do with full authority. Amen? That we have authority to say to Him, Get away from me, Satan. Get away from me, you evil thoughts. Get away from me, you evil ways in my life. Amen? Get away from me any destruction of this world. Use your authority with submission to our God. Can you say to our brethren, use your authority, use your authority. Use your authority. with submission? Use your <laughs> Amen? <laughs> even sometimes we are, we are tired, even sometimes the, the laziness things is, is attacking us. What we gonna do? Oh yeah, I feel tired. I just want to stay in my bed and lie in them. Amen? But what, we, what God wants us to do is to say that, get away from me, laziness. I have power to trample you down. Amen? So that you will not overcome my strength today. Amen? Because God's strength is always with us. So before we close, as we declare His supreme authority, what the Revelation 3, 2 to 3, remind us. It says there, Be watchful, and 
that they are ready to die. Remember, and heard. So that's the revelations to the three. God says, be watchful. <coughs> and strengthen the things which is remain and ready to die. Are we tired? Are we weary? Do we have a lot of problems? Do we have a lot of struggles? God said, be watchful and be strengthened. Amen. Because if we don't watch food, we will see ourselves that it says there that it's ready to die. Amen. Our spirit <coughs> is going down. Therefore, God says, be watchful, <coughs> be strengthened. Read His word that will encourage us. Keep meditating the word of God. Keep listening the songs that will refresh our souls. Amen? And remember that what we hear is, is will lead us and guide us. Amen? For God's glory. And in Revelations 3, 5 to 6, what it says, But I will bless his name before my Father he was a dear that the hear of the Spirit says to the churches. Amen? Amen. That is what the Revelation 3 verse 5 says until 6. That he overcomes shall be clothed in white garments. Amen? And will not block out the name from the book of life. But I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. As we can see that when we receive Christ as our Lord and personal Savior, we know that we are saved. Amen? Amen. We knew that our name is written in the book of life. Amen. But if we are not watchful and we didn't work out our salvation, what the word of the Lord says, that He can block out our name. Amen? From the book of life. But if we confess and we repent, he will give and he will say to the to our father that our name will remain. Amen. If we if we are overcomers, if we are submissive, amen, to our God, if we remain like knowing, or if we remain to be in the hands of God, <coughs> he says there that he will not bless blot out our name from the book of life. So there is possibility, amen. If we if we if we don't if we don't uh, if we don't let our life be led by God. If we want that the ruler of this world will lead us. This is the only thing that will happen unto us. Amen. That one day we will see ourselves that we are not in the hands of God. Are we all here? Amen. You want that to happen in your life? Therefore, God wants us to be an overcomer. Amen. He wants us to continue to work out our salvation with our God. And he said here that he who has an ear, let him hear. So be watchful and if our ears is ready, always we need to be alert, amen? What the reminder of our God. And it says in Revelation 3, 19 to 22, as many as I love, I rebuke and chase them before, therefore be zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice, open the door, I will come to him 
and pray with me. To him who overcomes, I will run to sit with me on my own, as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. Amen. You see how the Lord loves us. Therefore, what we are doing, if it is not according to His plan, He always reminds us. He always rebukes us. Amen? He always looks after us. Because God, our Father, gave Him authority to rule over us. Amen? Amen. Therefore, He said that uh, because He loves us, he always rebuke us. He always remind us for the things that we are doing. Amen? Amen? Even our friends, right? We love our friends. Therefore, we always remind them. Be careful. Because one day, it's not me who God suffer. It's you, yourself, who suffer. What you plan is what you need. Amen? Amen. What you plan is what you reap. What you desire for you alone, what you gonna receive. Amen. But let's see to it that God is your guide. Amen. Amen. Let's see to it that God is our guide in everything what we are doing. Because to be late is is feel sorry, amen? We need to be always updated and we need to be always really consult our God in everything what we are doing. Therefore, God gave us a new life. Amen. 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 God gave us a new life and let's enjoy this new life that God given unto us. What Matthew 6, what Matthew 7 says that we are the salt and light of this world, amen? So how he can, how this world can see the light in us? How the world can see that we are the salt and light of this world if we are not different until now? If we didn't show to them, to the world, the new life that God gave to us. Amen? So how we can say to them that this is the new life that God had given me, that I really enjoy, that I really love, that I really treasure? So how we can testify that? to the friends, to our friends, to the people around us. Amen. If our life is not light, if our life is not a soul, and we will not continue to do it. Amen. Therefore, those who continue to do it, God says that we are overcome. And He will give us the right to sit on the throne of God. Amen. And to stand down with the Father on his throne. So we are not talking about only here, right now. But we are talking to the another life that God wants us to enjoy. Amen? To sit on the throne of God or to sit under the earth. That is, there's always a choice. Amen? So God wants us to be reminded Therefore, church, he who has an ear, let him hear. The Spirit says to the churches. Amen? Amen. Can we say to our seedmate, hear what the Spirit says? Hear what the Spirit says. To the churches. To the churches. And to you. And to the Amen? Amen. <laughs> to God be the glory. Are we all here? Amen. Are we reminded? Amen. Are we strengthened? Amen. Are we overcomer? Amen. Are we overcomer? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so many things, amen, that God wants to do in our life more and more. That God wants us to enjoy. Amen. Therefore, let's continue to do the Lord wants us to do in our life. Keep your fire burning. 
keep your life burning and don't allow the evil things, don't allow the temptation of this world will off your life. Amen? As what the demonstration of verse 2 showed us today, that our life should be not turned off. Amen? We should not allow the evil spirits to off our lights. Amen? Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Shall we bow down our head? And let's give our heart a short, a short prayer for our God. Let once again allow the Lord to, to speak deep within our hearts. Whatever, whatever things that we have done and whatever things that we fail God in our life. Right now, the Lord wants us to surrender it once again before Him. Let God alone will guide us. Let God alone will help us. To renew our strengths, to renew our authority, to renew our authority as what our Father in heaven has given unto us, to destroy the works and plans of the enemy in our life, and let God alone will always lead us in the thing. And let God alone will strengthen us in our life. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. As we offer our hearts before you right now, Father God. Lord, thank you for your rebuke. Lord, thank you because you watch over me. You watch over me, Father God. Thank you, Lord, because you want me to keep my fire burning. You want me to be more than overcomer, Father God, a more than conqueror in every situation of my life, oh Lord. Lord, thank you because you are the strength of my life. You are the strength of my heart. Thank you, Lord, because you delivered me from darkness and brought me into light. With all our hearts, Lord, we want to serve you. With all, with all our hearts, Lord, we want to know you more. With all our hearts, Lord, we want to renew once again our devotion. Our devotion before you. With the Holy Spirit, oh God. Lord, let the guidance of the Holy Spirit always help us to do the authority with all confidence, with all boldness, oh God, in our life. Lord, we knew, Father, that you can do great things. You can do miraculous things, oh God, in our life. As we always obey you. As we always surrender everything unto you, Father God, because it's not by our strength, it's not by our own power, but by your Spirit, says the Lord Almighty. Lord, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. worship your name alone, Father God. We worship your name, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus.
wanted a man to sing this song with all of your heart as a prayer. My heart, all the men of God. My heart, and in faithful Lord, my heart.
Oh, yeah. 
So as we give today, let's uh, include our hearts so that God will also uh, be happy because God loves a cheerful giver. Amen? Amen. So let's pray. Almighty Father in heaven, we thank you. We thank you for this day, Father, because uh, for the privilege, because uh, giving is worshiping you, Father. Father, as we give, include our hearts for where our hearts is, the treasure of your love is there. And Father, bless us as we give today and also to the people, Lord, that uh, who cannot uh, give. I know that uh, in giving in your time, Lord, they will also and give what they are desired to give, Father. And Father, also bless those people that uh, who are in need, Father, that this blessings that you given upon us will also be shared to them and will be, they will be also blessed by your glory. And Father, bless all the people who will uh, give the Lord that there will be more abundance in their life. The blessings that comes from you, the blessings that uh, you have entrusted unto us, the love, the peace, and the joy Father, we entrusted everything to you for all these things that we have right now is coming from you. So we have to give it back to you for your glory, Lord, to bless you. Father, we all ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, that lives in us forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
before we are going to pray the team, give thanks. Thank you so much, Lord God, and all the highest praises, honor, and thanksgiving belong to your name. And this I ask 